This is Blisso. And I'm Vic. Vic's is uh, slowing up a bit. And together with Mon and Cable and occasionally some of our favourite humans, we are Old Mac Crew. Join us on our adventure as we discover the best camping and swimming spots Australia has to offer in our old patrol and hybrid caravan. See what we get up to, the secret spots we find and become a part of our Old Mac Crew. <laughs> We're watching the grand final build up. We had egg sandwiches in the caravan, in bed. It's a disgrace. We did go for a swim today. Yeah. Oh, Vic did. I did. Yeah. I did not. So yeah, it's blowing a bit of a gale today. You know, it's a lovely day, but it's blowing a gale. So we just sit in the van, watching the lead up to the footy. Still got about an hour or so before the kickoff, but it's a bit warmish. It's not too bad, we've got the windows open, so this is our day today. It is. If the wind calms down this harbour, we might um, go down for a bit of a snorkel or something, or at least a swim. Anyway, we've got to get this game out of the road. Go Pies, what do you think, Dick? <laughs> you don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. You don't want to say it. No, it's going to be a, it should be a crack of a match, but I reckon the Pies should get up with a bit of luck. Oh, Brilliant. listen, look at her, look at her, hey? She'll be outside we'll in We'll kick the winning score. She'll be outside you in You'll hear a mighty roar. She's going outside, now, out there, the right now. All right, right, well, that's us for the day. Hopefully, we can get down and have a bit of a, a bit of a swim, but this is our view here from the window. Can't beat the MCG. Can't beat the MCG. There's the view. There's the telly. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's just that win. Anyway, other than that, too easy. Go Pies. Go Lions. No, nah, she's outside. No good. Just sitting having our morning coffee. Our oh, mate decides to come and say good day. He's not too phased by us, either. No. Is he? Not at all. Got his first radio by the look of it. Right. Hmm. Interesting. We get these around home, but they don't. You don't see them up close and personal like that. They tend to bugger off. Yeah. Or stay away from you. This bloke. Pretty much right under your chair. Right under my chair. Mm. Anyway, what are we going to do today? I think we're going to go for a drive. Yeah, we're going to do something. It was a bit of a crappy day yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> Bliss is having a moment. Well, Have a go at him. He's having a moment. Look at the fly net on. The flies aren't too bad, but they're just enough to annoy you. <laughs> yesterday, lucky the grand finals when we were inside the van all day. It was just blowing an absolute gale. <clears throat> so we just hung around in there and watched all the pre-game stuff and watched the game. Up the pies. One by four points, thank God. Actually, we got a bit of a snorkel in Yestiava. I did, it was beautiful.
yesterday afternoon it all calmed down. It was good, and this morning it's just a nice breeze, but the flies are still about. No but they're not, they're not that bad that you need a fly now. Well, old mate's just having a moment. I'm just having a moment. Anyway, we'll go for a drive again. I might duck up back and go back a bit and have a look at Carrow Wells Campground, which is just this side of Port Neal, about 30 k's from Lipson Cavey, where we are now. Um, and then we might duck in the tumby and see if there's anything open. Might get some bacon and stuff for breakfast in the morning. I don't think it will be. It is Sunday and it's a long weekend, so I can't see anything being open. Mm. But uh, everything over here. Going for a little wander over under the van now. See what he can get off, get in, into. He's a skink, isn't he? Oh, it's like, well, no, they're a shingleback. Bo- shingleback. We call them bobtails yeah. at home. The shingleback wizard, I think they are. He's not too worried about anything, he's just doing his thing. Checking out the snorkel gear. Yeah, all the gear. Anyway, we'll get organised and we'll go and do... We're going to go and do something today, look at this thing. Hey? <laughs> we're going to do something today, get off our bums. We had a really restful day except for the wind and it was pretty warm too, but we got through it. Alright, we'll go for a look and see what we can't find. And we got tired about this little track here that drives along the coastline from Lipson Cove campgrounds through to Port Neal. First gate, wife is on the job. So we're going to check it out. It's private property but I say you can drive through it as long as you stick to the track. I don't think it's four drive, it's more of a scenic tour I'd say but anyway we're going for a look and then we're going to have a look at Carrow Wells campground while we're at Port Neal. Let's get going.
I've been driving along this track that we're told about to head towards Port Deal and come across a lot of little bays or sand spots and this one we've got there ourselves. It's gonna take full opportunity and have a little swimmy swim. Have a look at this, like this is fantastic. I'm not sure what to do with camping. You can camp, but I'm not sure if it's a hip camp or if you just come down and pitch up. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a lovely area. We're still heading towards Port Neal. And a little break here. Have a look at that over there. That looks a specky bit of view, that is. Like you know, this little beach to ourselves. I recommend if you're staying in Lipson's Cove campground, come for driving this track well worth a look there's plenty of plenty of spots all the other beaches there's been about four or five along the way um, there's been campers there so we just wanted to find one of ourselves and yeah just spend a bit of time here all right we're going to take this in then we'll keep going Finished the track, nice little track. The second bit you can't go down towards the coast, but the first half or better, we can get down on some glorious camp spots. Anyway, brings you out that gate just there, if you can see it, and it comes out to the crossroads here to Port Mills 11 k's to the left. We're gonna go straight down, there's caravans down there, so I think it's a campground of some description, so we'll go and check it out. Well, we did. Meat and chips. Chips, eh? Yep. Alright, okay. We'll go down for a look see. We think this is Carrow Wells, don't we? It could be, yeah. It could be Carrow Wells, but we're about to find out. Oh my lord, have a go at me. Yeah, hey, look at that. They're man. everywhere. Yeah, here you gotta be careful of these things, they just pop up and they don't really care that you're here. Yeah. We've probably had to stop for about six. Yeah, and you don't want to run them over to poor buggers, they're just trying to survive. Yeah, they don't really care. All right, we'll get down here and have a look. Yeah, we've come here. It's not, um, it's not Carrow Wells. It's we missed Carrow Wells by the look of it. Yeah, that way. The Carrow Wells is up further by a little bit. Just got a bit of service on Wiki here in the camp. Yeah. And it's called Cape Hardy Beach. Mm. Or Cows Beach or something like that. Cows Beach. Yep. Yeah. Nice little spot. There's a few campers here. I don't want to get out and disturb them, but I'll do a yui. There's beach just there. Fishing out there. Nothing here, just a self-contained site, I reckon. Is it possible? Uh, no. no, it sounds like it's free. But I don't have a glass. She can't see because she hasn't got her glasses on. I've got a sore eye. Sore eyeball. But she's, I'm wearing Bliss's glasses. So we're going to have a, have a little look here on Wiki. That's Caro Wells, too. That's what I just said, my love. This one here. Why don't listen to Wifey? I don't know, I'm not a very good listener. It's a donation camp, so... <coughs> yeah, so whatever. It's, it's not free and it's not low, um, expensive. It's just a donation. It'd be a good little camp. Yeah. For a night. Could get a bit low out there, I reckon. A few flies about us everywhere. Yeah. Put that on your list if you need an overnight or a quick, easy access. I think it's 11k out of Port Neal. We'll get into Port Neal. See what's in there. Uh huh. Copy that. Copy that. Well, it's going to head into Port Neal and have a bit of a bow peep. And why were we actually going to Port Neal this morning, darling? To have a look at Caro Well. And the main reason, the main reason we were going into town where there's service. Oh, yes. We're going to get service so I can upload a video this afternoon. And what do you need to upload the video? The iPad that I put the video on. And where's the iPad? In the caravan. Which is not here. Kicking goals. So it looks like we're going to have to set the Starlink up and see if that yeah, works. Hopefully. Got all this way in there. I said, you got the laptop, Joe? Uh, no. Anyway, 
Doesn't matter. Look at that view. Look at that road. Yeah, look at that out here. Gorgeous. Right. Happy days. Husband's not bad looking either. No, he's alright. Does the job. Goes alright for a hairy man. <laughs> What do we have here, dear? We have Carrow Wells. Carrow Car Wells, just down here on the right. Vic said it was the other way. <laughs> here it is. I don't think I said that. You did, you said, I think we're going, it's the other way. I think we're going past. Oh. Anyway, all good. We've got, we're here, so we're going to go and have a little look. 500 metres in. It's only five or six k out of Port Neil, is it? Yeah. I might get that. It's only eleven k from the other camp. We've come a fair bit. Anyway, we're going in. in the back beach behind Port Neil. Another nice beach area. That's Port Neil just there. What do you think? Beautiful. I'd say by the end of this trip we might be beached out. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're all accessible. Yep. Going for a swim or a fish. Alright. Yeah, it's really beautiful area. Yeah, it's a nice area. The water's so gorgeous. Just that beautiful aqua colour. Yeah. Alright. We should keep moseying. Nice little jetty here in Port Neil. It's under construction now, so we can't walk out there and have a look. But, yeah, it's nice. Nice to do a bit of fishing off there. Kids playing down here in the sand. It's pretty. Well, I'm in the Tumby Bay to have a look at this jetty. Closed. Like we had a look five years ago, but you can't get on the beach. Right here in the town. It's a shame you can't walk out there. Last time we walked out there, there was an old mate caught a fish and give it to the niece for money. That's a shame. I would have took you for a walk out, but anyway, look at this. Beach front here, Tumby Bay. Happy days. I think we might um, go for, a, see if we can get a feed or something. Just a few seats up here, a bit of a play area just here for the kids. What do you reckon, dear? It is nice. I feel like going for a walk, but we've got a beach back at the camp we can walk and yeah. just take the, the view in for a minute. I really like Tummy Bay, it's a nice clean, yeah. very coastal little town. It's got a bit of everything, it's got fuel, it's got supermarket, it's got a pub, a few cafes and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's a nice little town. If, you, if you're staying at Lipson and you need some stuff, come into Tumby. There's not much at Port Neil. It's only a quaint little town, it's just got a servo and some sort of a marketplace there which wasn't open um, obviously because it's Sunday and it is a long weekend here in South Australia but anyway there is a couple of cafes so we might get a little feed while we're here shame about this jetty though anyway there is a code there you can scan to find out what's going on I might get the phone out and see what's going on with it anyway what are we going to do go and get a feed yeah go and get a feed I think while we're here it's Daylight saves now, so we're an hour behind. So it's about one o'clock now. Getting hungry, and I wonder why. Anyway, got some information or an update on the jetty. Why well, it's closed. Just talking to a local, he said it's been closed for about 12 months now. And um, the reason for it being closed is the council here has deemed it unsafe. So they've closed it until further notice. Now the, the South Australian government own it. 
own the wharfs or other jetties around here, but the account, the local councils are responsible for them because it's such a big cost to fix it up. The council just don't have the money, and the South Australian government was happy to meet them halfway, but um, the council just doesn't have the money to do that. So it's closed for the time being. I'm not saying it's closed forever, but for the near future, it's going to be closed. So that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, you can still access the beach as you've seen though and swim out there that's just you know it's one of those, you said the tourism's dropped a bit because of it and they're hoping to try and raise a bit of money throughout the community to help go towards the the rebuild or the repair of it anyway just a bit of information on why it's closed and that right there that's dead right darling yeah. good investigation skills yes i should be mr sherlock you should be i don't know it'd be no good back to gadget no. gadget eh mm. Yeah, no, anyway, so that's just a bit of insight what's going on. The Port Neal one is currently closed at the moment, but they are re doing repair work on it now. Apparently it wasn't as nowhere near the cost to repair, so rather than having two in disrepair, they at least are going to fix one up for the time being. So if you're in Port Neal, that one will be open eventually. Not sure when, but the works are in progress as we speak. All right, enough chatter. I'm hungry. Go I'm get too. Let's get a feed. Your, your pick, is it? Yeah. It works. She's picking. Morning, guys. Well, it's pack up. And any watchers on would be looking at me sitting in the ute thinking that Bliss is out there packing up by himself and I'm just sitting here like a lazy bum. But that's not the case. I have a very important job. TD life. I got your back, Bliss. -o. Okay. We're about to leave, um, as Vic said, um, and just before we go, I just sort of give you a quick insight on the campground. So we're at Lipson's Cove Campground, we've been here for three nights. Um, we're packed up and ready to go. We're moving in towards Port Lincoln. Um, so just a quick view before we go. Look at that, that's tall there. We'll camp just there. So we've only just moved forward. So what we've got here, we have 12 campsites numbered 1 to 12 from number 1 is at the far end as you come in number 12 is closest to the end of the beach um, there's a two drop toilets here and there are bins and you do have to book in line I think it's $10 a night in it there per van not per person so, all right so I just sort of throw that in off we go dear after doing her loyal job of holding the handbrake that's a normal patrol life anyway all right we're gonna get out of here see where we end up see you there a bit of a feed for Blisso tonight because it's actually a little bit cold and I wanted to cook up the last of the sausages we've got and I thought I'll make enough tonight because we're going for a big drive tomorrow out to Memory Cove so that should be exciting and we'll probably get back late and it's supposed to be a rubbish day tomorrow as well so I thought I'll make something warm for tea tonight that we can just reheat tomorrow night and I thought I'll show you how I do a quick curry and pumpkin soup get around it this is the most delicious curried snags you can make but here's a hot tip a tin of pumpkin soup barbecue chicken from Woolies bag of frozen veggies mix it all together heat it up chuck in a small cream delicious oh don't forget the curry powder go the old Keen's curry powder so I've got I'm making a lot of sausages, so I've just got two of those. I'm going to shake in some Keen's curry powder. 
No Everyone's nana has got one of these in the cupboard. Bliss likes this scattered like that on his egg sandwiches. And then I'm just going to add a tin of stock. So save washing up, I'm just going to mix it up in this can. About. What sort of stock is that there? This is Vegetta. Normally I'd use beef stock, but I tried to find out beef stock and it's one beef stock brick. So I had to go the old Vegetta because it's the only one still standing. Now I'm just going to fill this up with water. Stuff in the stir around. The stock. Give her a whisk. The old big baduri happening. Now you look at that now and you're going, she's off her head. But wait until I show you the finished product. You'll be getting around the pumpkin soup. Righto. That's that. We'll just chuck some sausages in. I don't boil them. I don't peel them. I'll just chuck them in. So I'll do this and we'll get back to you a little bit later. Just a quick scout of the, uh, the park we're staying in is uh, at North Shields called Lincoln Cove, is it? Lincoln Cove or Port Lincoln Caravan Park, one of those two. But anyway, it's a nice little site, uh, caravan park. Cabins over here, two barbecues in the gazebo. There's two lots of amenities. Uh, one here, one down the far end, and there's also a dump point down the far end. Mostly powered sites, I'm sure they do have unpowered, but yeah, doesn't have a swimming pool or anything, but if you Looking for a, just an overnighter or a, a cheaper caravan park just out of the city of Port Lincoln. This is the go, it's 10k's away. So Port Lincoln 10k's that way. Um, we stayed here because I had to get a couple of new tyres from the van. Because of the flat tyres we had the other day. So we opted to stay here for three nights. So we got out to Memory Cave as Vic said before. Tomorrow. So this is just a good little base at a cheaper price. Could have stayed in town, but uh, it was $60 a night because it's school holiday. So this was a much cheaper option, quieter, not far out of town, so it suits us fine. So nice grassy area. The beach is just over uh, behind these vans here. Oh, the end of the, the water anyway. Just down the far end. I think I've got some pictures. If I have, I'll put them up. There's a jetty. You can go down, and there's good snorkel around that jetty if you want to kill half an hour. But you can see there's a bit of a view there of the ocean. Yeah, so anyway, come and pass, call in if you need a nice stay. Forgot to mention, at this little park here in North Shields, just on the entrance there's a survey so you can get bread, milk and a few little things that you might need for, you know, just the basic essentials to get you through the night. So while Bliss is having a yarn, I got this. I just pulled the sausages out and chopped them into small pieces. Just looking at the shizzle. Smells good too. So I've just cut that up and it's starting to look like a curry. It smells warm and delicious. It smells good. Yeah. So now, Real good. if I was at our house, I would chuck in some um, frozen veggies. I like the pack of winter veggies because they're nice and chunky and they just go great in a curry, but because we're on the road, I'm just chucking in some canned vegetables. So I want peas, corn and carrot. Peas, corn and carrot. Some spuds. Oh, what are 
Hey. <laughs> I thought that was spuds too. No. <laughs> and they are, they have no place in curry sausages, but I love them. So they're going in. Mm, interesting. Now that's still, that's pretty runny. So what I'm going to do is just chuck in. I could thicken it up and go to heaps of trouble, but it's actually beautiful, like a curry sauce. So I think I'm just going to chuck a handful of pasta in there and then I've got to add the cream too, which will make it a beautiful, wait till you see the colour when I add the cream, it looks yum. So I think I'll just add now a handful of whatever kind of pasta I've got out the back, which will soak up some of that moisture. And then once that's had a chance to cook through, we'll chuck the cream through. And she'll be on. See how quick that is? It's probably half an hour. Look, so this is looking delish. It's um not as colourful as when I put chunky veggies in. Um, and I ended up because this is runny UHT cream. I ended up throwing in packet of that and just stirring it through which thickened it up beautiful so I've just added the cream just give that a stir around and look at that colour so one of them is going to be enough and like I said, if you wanted something really quick, barbecue chicken, pull all the meat off, throw it in a pan with some chopped up veggies that you just get from the soupy in a bag, stir fry them, throw in pumpkin soup mixed with some curry powder, let that cook the veggies, jar of cream, curry chicken. And it is delicious. This pumpkin soup gives it a really beautiful like sweet flavor with the curry it's so yummy all right and that's our splistos let's good get into it good work it looks really good i'm keen to get into that exactly. good work wifey so you can finally buy this uht cream again you couldn't get it for ages and i've always got some in the pantry just because it's so easy to cart like this so get around it morning guys where are we going today blisso i'm telling you no good. It's no good. He's gonna love it. This is not my cup of tea. He'll love it. What do you think? Mm. Feeling relaxed. So far. So good. What do you think? So good. Job that needed doing. It's gonna look amazing. Bliss is not getting colour, I'm disappointed. No, no. Bliss is not getting a colour. He's just getting to tidy up. Yeah. Trimmed up apparently. Trimmed up. Things you do when you wait for tyres to be repaired <laughs> or replaced. He said, We'll do something you want to do while we're waiting for our tyres. I said, Follow me, dear. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> It'll feel lovely when it's finished and still. It will. That feels good with that time. Yeah. No, if it's too hot yet, yeah. it's okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm, very nice. Mm. Lovely day to be in the cove here. So we've just stopped in site number four. 